Hey guys, Django here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the Italian C200 Serie 3 sitting at 1.7 better rating. One of the planes that has been adjusted with the rudder, elevator and dive performance buff uh, just with the other planes in one of the last small patches. And it's definitely noticeable in this plane, it has become a fantastic diver with good maneuverability and handling at the end of the dive. Let's go into the speed of this plane. The maximum speed at sea level without web is 403 kilometers an hour and with web 430 kilometers an hour. At 4500 meters this is 392 without web and 403 with web. And finally at 6500 meters still go up to 341 kilometers an hour without web and 342 with web. As you see the web becomes irrelevant at the higher um, altitudes. This plane is best at mid to low altitudes and especially at sea level you have a very powerful web for this battle rating. So there is that and that is quite nice. The speeds overall are quite nice. Not spectacular but uh, good. Top speed in the dive is fantastic though and there is where this plane really shines. The top speed in the dive is 803 kilometers an hour before she redlines and 840 before she rips apart. Although I could not rip her apart. That was my crash speed. I did it from 6500 meters and 7500 meters. I couldn't go over that speed, the acceleration starts to slow down as she becomes faster at those speeds coming lower to the ground. You see the acceleration decreasing and uh, you won't be able to rip her apart. At least I didn't manage it so you definitely don't have to worry about it. It is difficult to rip this plane apart and that is a, a boon I guess to the plane. But a fantastic top speed in the dive, it is absolutely amazing for a 1.7 battle rating. She can outspeed anything at this battle rating basically. The stall speed in the plane is 135 which is also quite good, quite nice for vertical maneuvers. The control stiffening uh, for the effective dive speed uh, starts at 550 km an hour and becomes more severe at 650 but it still stays functional. So this plane absolutely is still capable of getting guns on target at high speed dives and, this ma did, and that makes this plane really a great boom and zoomer. If not for the firepower, the firepower is no more than average. This plane is running with two 12.7 mm Breda Safat machine guns with 370 rounds per gun. I used air targets for these, uh, for these uh, matches with a 600 meter convergence. There is no options for bombs on this plane, so there is only the pure fighter roll of this plane. So the ammo load is really nice, but the firepower is no more than average. You want to keep um, the firing distance short on this plane, because uh, on, the, on the longer distances this plane doesn't seem to have much effect with these um, Italian pop guns. And, uh, <coughs> but you can definitely set a fire or two and many of your kills will be fires in this plane and um, short distance kills is where the juice is on the plane. That is problematic as this plane is best at boom and zooming but still um, you need a little longer on the target often with the guns and with boom and zooming you've got to be absolutely precise because you only have you know a, a few seconds in your pass. Of course you can always reset if you have the advantage but that means you are longer busy with one target and that drags you out and it drags you down and often other players can get above you so that's a downside to the plane. The guns are the major downside of this plane. The acceleration in a straight line in this plane is very good. In a dive, a steep dive it can be great. The energy retention in the horizontal is decent and in the vertical it's also decent. Climb rate is also no more than decent. So as an energy fighter this thing it can do some energy fighting decently well but it is not uh, born to do it let's say. Dog fighting the plane can also do reasonably well, uh, pretty good actually with the good turn time, very good with flaps by the way. Flaps that only rip off at 605 kilometers an hour so it's very difficult to rip them off. 
except in, in a dive and that is very nice indeed you can use them to your heart's content dog fighting this plane can do reasonably well the roll rate is good in the plane overall maneuverability is also good there is no overheating in this plane and that is also very nice with many planes these days uh, overheating uh, overheating in this plane is absolutely no issue you can easily cool it off if it does eventually overheat by extensive webbing but um, yeah it is absolutely no issue not a problem durability in the plane is pretty good it can take a hit or two but it does have some weak spots you don't have much armor protection for the pilot you also have an open cockpit so whatever bulletproof glass you might have you know if you are targeted from above or from a profile in a turn your pilot is just sitting there in the open and uh, it's vulnerable but uh, other than that um, it's decent the durability you can't say otherwise so this is a boom and zoomer that needs to be used in uh, in high speed dives and uh, getting guns on target is very possible with a nice control stiffening the, the compression is not too bad starting only at 550 and 650 for a little bit more severe but still maneuverable plane in a dive the handling is absolutely great that is its main strength but the turn and the and the roll is also quite nice and uh, yeah so it uh, it's it's a nice plane in the handling and in the flying of the plane but the guns can be uh, a little bit frustrating although of course with a sustained burst on target you you will still get the target there's no doubt about that but uh, you got to keep those guns on your target for a, a good bit let's say a few seconds and that will get your results sometimes you'll get a fire that's nice but uh, all in all the guns are one of the major downsides of this plane with only two Breda Savat machine guns the Breda Savat machine guns the 12.7s and the 7.7s uh, I believe or 92 whatever 7 millimeters they are some of the weaker machine guns in game at the moment most people that flew them a little bit know that and it can be a little bit frustrating sometimes you need uh, two runs maybe three runs on an opponent and that can be a downside for you as it, it uh, leaves you vulnerable to other people coming in and um, that's a downside uh, the the up tiers in this plane are uh, quite a challenge but still this plane is up to the task especially in the speed department even in a full up tier you won't be outspeeded just like that not at all so uh, an ace in the first match and a, and a good result in the second match as well this is an absolute joy to fly good plane nice boom and zooming except for the guns but oh well final blow survivor the best squad and terror of the sky 42,000 silver lions and almost 5500 research points hey guys so here we are after the match now overall this is a very fast plane in a dive and it can be an absolute joy there the energy retention is no more than decent though so you want to you know go zoom up in in a shallow angle and reset for a second attack if you have the energy fight of course you can especially if you come from an energy advantage but keep your eyes peeled for trouble and for other dots on the horizon because this plane often needs more than one run on an opponent you need to loop over get back run again and uh, it's a bit of a problem if you have other planes higher or on equal altitude or slightly below you because as you lower altitude to get to your target and you reset for another run other people can get a jump on you so keep your eyes peeled and stay open and if you uh, don't see uh, anyone you can just repeat on your opponent if you do see other people coming in just leave it and leave it for later because you don't want to get uh, pulled down by somebody so that others can get you that's the major downside of this plane the firepower other than that there's precious little to complain about in this plane it is uh, the maneuverability is good and the performance in a dive is absolutely amazing fantastic top speed there and you can basically dive away from anybody so there is that fun little plane i hope you enjoyed the review guys i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber 
don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.